So what we're going to do now is we're going to figure out how to find the dominant strategy. So we're going to look at player two. We're going to try to find player two's dominant strategy. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set player one's strategy at A. We're going to fix it to A. So we're going to say player one, they are going to be playing A. So we're only going to be looking at this row right here. So if player one is going to play A, let's just block out them playing B, we want to figure out what is the best payoff for player two. And his best response is right there. Because player two is going to be deciding between 10 and 5. Once we know that, we got to say, all right, but what about if player one were to play B? So let's now fix player one at playing strategy B. Let's just cover up strategy A. And what do we see? Player two can either get two or zero. Best response is two. Now, since player two's best response to player one playing A is B, and their best response to player one playing B is also B, we know that player two's dominant strategy is to play B.